Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Today y'all, this is like a day or so after I got my teeth pulled. And I can't eat certain food because, you know, I got a hole in my mouth. But I got some, I'm not sure if I can eat these uh, cinnamon twists from Taco Bell. I just try to chew on one side of my mouth, but I, I'm hungry, y'all. So I got me some soft shell tacos. I didn't put no sauce or nothing on it. Let me show you. I already ate like two of them. So see, if y'all can see, it's just lettuce and the ground beef. Gotta eat something. So I'm trying not to get food on this side. But what y'all doing? What's going on? I want to put some taco sauce on here, but they say not to do no hot or mild type of stuff. So I'm just going to. Eat it like this. But, uh, yeah. I'm just sitting in here watching YouTube. Just let me do a video. And just talk about some things. Uh, my costume came, y'all. This year, uh, I'm gonna be Beetlejuice. So the jacket fit; it fit good. Uh, I got a bigger size because sometimes you know them costumes be exact. But I did get a. A bigger size and it fit. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my hair. If I'm gonna wear one of them Beetlejuice wigs or get some um, that spray for my hair. So, Kyron costume came too, um, but I'm not sure if his fit, but. You're not feeling good. So I gotta wait till he try it on. And this is crazy when you gotta chew on one side of your mouth. Um, yeah, but I've been, I said, I've been putting up Halloween decoration, y'all. And I've been wanting to help her, but I've been having low vibrations lately. It's just not been in the mood to really do much. I hate drinking water. I know I need to drink more of it, but I do not drink water. All right now, that's pretty much all I can drink. Oh, I got one more taco left and a few of these. Just cinnamon twist. But, y'all, they got a lot going on in the world. A lot. They got this uh, election, which is a mess. Um, the Diddy thing, which is an even more mess. Y'all ever ask yourself with this Diddy stuff that 
when it all come out and they start naming people that was involved in it and they start naming some of your favorite celebrities that's gonna be crazy you know like you sitting down one day and you just watching TV watching the news and boom and they say here's a list of people they just taking out a handcuff or raising their house or and there's somebody like that you wouldn't even expect to be involved in that type of stuff, you know. Like, let me name somebody. I'ma say off the top of my head, Claire Huxtable, right? Like they like Claire Huxtable was was Diddy right hand man, you know, that type of stuff and you like, what? What? And then they say even Barney was a part of it. And you're like, not Barney. You know, that, that would be crazy. That's what I'm hoping that don't happen. That is people that you least expect was involved in all this craziness. So, I don't know. But that's crazy. Um... What else? The storms. We all praying for them people in Florida. Because I know what it's like. Living in New Orleans, like we got hurricanes. You know, it's just a, a way of life, right? My, my parents used to talk about the old hurricanes like Betsy and Camille and how that was bad. And then when I had to go through it, you know, when you're a child and you go through storms, you know, all you got to do is rely on your parents. But when you become a parent, you got to rely on yourself to, you know, be there for your kids and your family. So that was different. Because <laughs> when the storm came, I was like, wait, where's my parents? Like, what they going to do? And I get how some people can't leave. You know, I don't believe it's a big number of people that can't leave. Wait, let me put it like this. For some people, they have no choice. They cannot leave, right? Let's just put that out there. I get it. But for a lot of them, no, they may can't leave in the moment when it comes. But if you look at leading up to it, they was in a position where they could have put something aside and most people chose not to. And I'm not just saying that for anybody else. I'm saying that for myself too. Meaning that there were times when I know hurricane season was coming up. But I chose to take whatever money I had or maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars here, and I did something else with it, knowing that hurricane season was coming, knowing that I should at least put this money to the side, you know, in the event that we have to leave. And I'll be like, I ain't worried about that now. I worry about that when it come and then when it come I can't leave. That's what I mean by a lot of people are able to, we just chose not to. Not for everybody. Because <clears throat> some people can't. <clears throat> and I'm not talking about those who can't. I think that's why Kamala, Camilla, whatever her name is, when she said people are not preparing, I think people took it in a way because I don't think she elaborated on it. Like what I just said. Because for some of us, we are able to put something aside. And then for some of us, including myself, there were days when I was like, right now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go out. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to buy this or do that. 
knowing that it would be smart for me to put that to the side in the event that we have to leave. Because I did that a lot of times. You know, I have to hold myself accountable and say, yeah, I couldn't leave at the time when the storm come, but if I had prepared, knowing that we go through this every year, I'd have been able to leave. It is what it is. It is what it is. A lot of people don't want to hear that shit. They don't want to hear what I could have did and all. They don't want to hear that shit. Uh, hey, that's all them. Just my opinion. You ain't got to agree with it. But that's not for everybody. Some people literally can't. Meaning that throughout the year leading up, they don't have extra to go out and go buy something. Those people, I can understand. I'm talking about the ones that get lots of money through their hand throughout the year and mismanage it and do other stuff with it, knowing that hurricane season is right around the corner and they're not preparing for it. So, yeah, but I still pray for people who still can't leave, right? Because it's scary. It's really scary. Because one year, y'all, we stood. Because my car was, like, not the best, in the best shape to get on the road. So we decided to stay. I can't remember that storm. Was it Goose Storm? I don't know. I don't remember. But I remember the experience. We was in a small little house. Um, it looked like one of the Martin Luther King houses. And our cousin and them had came. And they didn't leave either. So they stood with us. And when I say the lights went out, we were sweating. All our kids was walking around basically in shorts and no shirt on. Like, picture the hottest, hottest house. We had doors open. We had windows open. We took the mattress off the bed and brought it in the kitchen that was closer to the the window in the kitchen where we can get some wind coming in from that way. I mean, we was, I mean, it was bad. That was an experience. We just wanted to scream out the door. We was like, help us. Like, it was, it was horrible. So I vowed after that, that, and sometimes that's what it may take for people to actually go through something, right? For them to say, I don't care. Like, I'm a... And again, for those who can't, they can't. I'm talking about those who are able to. So let's be real. A lot of people, uh, you know, get income tax at the beginning of the year, right? Let's say by February, going into March, they got money. Instead of saying, let me prepare and... and but I guess a lot of them not taught money management and preparing for things. That's just not their life. They tend to go splurge, buy clothes, and I get it. Treat yourself. That's your money. You do what you want. I'm just saying at times you got to try to think ahead to, you know, knowing that hurricane season is a thing, especially if you stay in New Orleans, if you stay in Florida, you know, and them low, low line areas below sea level, you know, whatever. Uh, or right in the path of the hurricane, you know you about to experience this every year. You know, you got to start preparing, right? I don't know. Everybody got their whatever on it. And, you know, and some people be wanting the storms to hit because they want to get that FEMA. They want to get that little extra money. And that's, <clears throat> you know, we don't know why people do what they're doing, why they, they try to... You know, and a lot of people feel like uh, if it's like a one or two or maybe a three, they can ride it out. And for most people, they can. If you prepare and you got generators and stuff like that, then fine, you stay. But um, New Orleans, I know one thing. New Orleans, they're not ready for a category three. That's my chair, y'all. I got my chair on. 
Wait, let me cut it back on. Uh, a lot of people, um, what I was saying? I forgot what I was saying, y'all. That's great. I'm getting old. But New Orleans is not ready for a category two or three, uh, especially a direct hit. Y'all, if it flood, if it rain bad in New Orleans, you get a little flood and it's chaos. And that's even, especially after Katrina. If you from New Orleans and you was there and wasn't able to leave for Katrina and you experienced all that chaos that went on in New Orleans, if it was me, I would make it a point. Like, sometimes you got to put it in your head like it's a bill, right? Like, it has to be paid. Like, your light bill, your water bill, with your rent. You know, you, it's just a necessity. And I would make that a, a, a priority to make sure that when hurricane season comes, just to be prepared. Because, y'all, there were times that I was prepared and they said a storm was coming. And, oh, my God, we was like, okay, we not staying here. And we say, instead of leaving, at least let me go to a hotel where, you know, they have generators and all that stuff. And we got two rooms. I'll never forget this. <sighs> Tell me why we spent almost $600 for the weekend, because that's how long we stood. Uh, and all it did, it rained. All it did, it was rain. It rained. It was nothing. It rained. I was like, you got to be kidding me. But better safe than sorry. But I think that's how some people feel too. Some people feel like, you know, I prepared. I spent all this money and we left and then nothing happened. And then I got to turn around and, you know, waste all that money and all that type of stuff. So a lot of people go by that uh, reasoning of, man, I'm not worrying about that. I'm not leaving. So it's a lot, but I do think better safe than sorry. Because see that day when you decide that, ah, we ain't going, it ain't going to do nothing, that's going to be the day it's going to be hard. But you just don't know. So again, you know, my heart go out to the people who can't and people who are not able to. And, and those people, my heart go out to them, and I do understand. But for the ones who throughout the year, you know, you spending money on unnecessary things. I'm not going to call it uh, unnecessary things because if you want it, you get it. That's your life, you whatever. But what I'm saying is, don't be like me because I used to be the one. I have the money and we'll say we'll hold this. But life sometimes be life. And let me throw that in there. I won't act like I'm being like not empathetic to. Is that the word? Empathetic? Whatever, you get what I'm saying, to people's situation and stuff. Uh, but there were times that I was like, uh, uh, it ain't going to be that bad and this and this. And sometimes we be thinking that we waiting on money or we waiting on stuff to happen. And, you know, if you work this or whatever the case may be, you fix your situation. And then you think you're going to have it. And then because them storms, you know the season, but the storms come out of nowhere. Right. Sometimes it'll be nothing. And then all of a sudden, oh, they got a storm in the Gulf. And people get nervous. I don't know. It's crazy, y'all. I always kind of like think about when I was when I was working for Haystock. And this was before Katrina. And I remember my kids was little and we was at work. And they kept saying they got a storm in the Gulf. And of course, I was like, ah, what about this storm? And the girl I used to work with, her name was Katrina. What are the eyes, right? The storm was Katrina, and her name was Katrina. And she was funny, too, y'all. And she came in, and she said, ha, ha, y'all see I'm in a golf, huh? She said, I'm about to tear this motherfucker up. It's like she literally said that. She was laughing, and we thought she was joking. We was, like, laughing with her. See, once Katrina really told this mother, I was like, wow. She said that, even though she was joking, but she spoke it. And I thought that was crazy. But yeah, I, I, so I don't know, y'all. I don't know. 
Some people may disagree with what I said, and I'm not saying that people not out here living their life and, 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 you know, have bills and have responsibilities and stuff. But what I'm saying is certain things we can't get around, right? We can't change that every year hurricane season is coming. And the way times are going now, it don't even have to be hurricane season and a disaster can happen. You know, if you're able to, only if you're able to, and I mean, like, able to, please try to put something on the side or have a plan in the event this happened. Even if uh, you know somebody who got a, a, a sturdy home and an upstairs or somewhere where we can go in the event that happened and we all, you know, get together and get a generate, whatever the case may be, just have a plan. Just have a plan. It's important to have a plan. And again, if, if hurricane season comes and nothing happens, hey, take the money, splurge, pay a bill, do whatever you got to do, and just do the same thing again next year, right? If, you, if you're if you able. Because, you know, people be like, oh, you don't know what I got to do. Fuck all that. I'm just saying, speaking from my experience, that I got to, like, take that hit myself to say, we could have saved something if that was a priority. We could have. Because, you know, as people, we spend money on dumb shit. We spend, we spend money on food. We, we food, things, material things, all type of stuff. We spend money on a lot of stuff that's not necessary. So why not invest in yourself and spend money on something that's going to benefit you and your family? But... What do I know, right? But I pray for anybody that's going through something because it's hard out here, so I get it. All I'm saying is if you're able to, like, put 20 here, 10 here, whatever here for hurricane season, please do that. But, uh, yeah. I can't believe I drunk all this water, y'all. I do not drink water. So this is a good thing that I drunk it, but I don't drink water. Yeah. Look, y'all, look at all this gray. I might leave it because it might work with my uh, costume. Um, you know. It is what it is. Nova, why you got to lay on my foot? Jesus, why you got to be so close? But yeah, y'all, that was good. So I'm done for the day. That's all I'm eating. Uh, I have some salt water that I'm going to, like, brush my teeth and, like, rinse my mouth out. They say you can use salt water. But, uh, yeah. But other than that, y'all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video just a little, you know, late day rant, talk, chat, whatever you want to call it. I haven't been posting like I was before, but y'all, I'm I'm trying to get it together. Every time I, I like do a video and I'm trying to edit it, the um the editing uh app that I'm using it won't let me save the video. It keep so it's a lot. But I'll be back uh, doing videos. I'm still trying to figure it out, y'all. And if anybody out there that know know some things and about YouTube and about uh, especially reaction videos and doing certain stuff, comment down below. Let me know. Cause I'm 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 trying to I'm trying. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm trying to get it together. But for now, y'all. I'm out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Uh, so, y'all be blessed, stay safe, and remember to keep God first. Peace.